So here's the wiring diagram on the ignition system for the TT600. And you can see where we have the alternator listed here, the wires coming out of it. Those go up to the CDI unit, wires coming out of the CDI unit to the ignition coil. And then we have the ignition stop switch here. And we have our, our ground in our system. The thing that we're going to test now is the alternator, or sometimes I call this the stator, and that's probably incorrect, but that's okay. I know what I'm talking about, and you do too. So we're going to remove the wires that come off of that alternator, and really we're just testing those for the proper resistance. So if we look at our ignition system test specifications, again in the manual, we're looking at the 1983 to 1984, and we're going to look at the pickup coil resistance and the source coil resistance on uh, that year model. This also has the specs for the 85 to 86, so if you're trying to follow along and, and fix one of those years, you can see that the readings are the same. So I'm not really sure why they separated those out, except it looks like the wire colors may be different. But on the pickup coil, we're looking for 90 to 120 ohms. And for the source coil, we're looking at 110 to 170 ohms. So I've got my ohm meter set up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see these numbers, but we're actually going to test the pickup coil and the source coil off the alternator. So for the pickup coil on the 83 to 84 TT600, we're going to be testing the green to the white green and the green to the white red wires. For this we're looking for 90 to 120 ohms. And again it shouldn't matter which lead you place where as long as you're not touching both leads at the same time. So I've got the green wire, which is this terminal down here, and this is the white green. So we're within that range, we're at 120 ohms. And then if I test the green to the white red, I'm at 117. So both of those leads coming off the pickup coil are testing within the specs. Now to test the source coil, we're going to use these other two wires that are coming off of the alternator, the brown and the red for this year model. And for this, the manual says 110 to 170 ohms. So right there we're testing at 124 ohms. So based on those readings, everything coming off of the alternator is running within spec, so that's something we can eliminate from our no spark situation.